Hey everyone, Andrew here. Today we'll be taking a look at the crazy powerful Alienware 18 laptop. A laptop that can pretty much do anything. Let's start out with pricing. This is a top of the line gaming laptop. So prices for the Alienware 18 begin at $1,999.99. And they scale upwards to 4,000 depending on how you spec out your system. The laptop that we tested was the top of the line and featured an Intel Core i7 4940MX processor with an 18.4 inch WLED FHD 1920 by 1080 true life display. The dual NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980Ms are inside with 8 gigabytes of DDR5 each. There's 32 gigabytes of dual channel DDR3 RAM at 1600 megahertz, and there's a 512 gigabyte MSATA SSD boot drive and a one terabyte 7200 RPM SATA 6 gig drive. There's a DVD burner, dual band Wi-Fi, a Bluetooth 4.0, all running on Windows 8.1. It also features a full HD 2 megapixel camera with dual digital microphones. The whole thing is wrapped up in an anodized aluminum and magnesium alloy, giving the laptop a solid feel and an aggressive look at the same time. The keyboard is reinforced and set on an aluminum foundation for a sturdy feel. It has four zone multicolor lighting, nine user programmable buttons, and provides up to 19 distinct functions per application or game. And it has enough room for a full number pad, which I personally love to see, it's nice to use one. The keys feel nice and responsive, and surrounding the keys is a very nice soft touch plastic. As for customization, the 18 has 10 unique programmable zones with up to 20 distinct colors, providing over 10 trillion lighting combinations. As for the dimensions of the laptop, the height of it ranges from front to back from 2.23 inches to 2.26. Its width is 17.9, just under 18 inches, and its depth is a little bit under 13, coming in at 12.909. The overall weight of this laptop, which it is a bit large because this is their largest laptop, is a little bit over 12 pounds. As for the ports you can expect to find on the laptop, it has a power and DC in jack, four USB 3.0 ports, one mini display port, one HDMI output port. It also has two audio out 1 8 ports, one compatible with inline mic headset, and then one line in microphone 1 8 port. It's retastable for 5.1 analog audio output. It has an ethernet port and a seven in one media card reader. As for the test numbers when playing games, because overall this is a gaming laptop and with two onboard cards, it's pretty powerful and you'll probably be playing games. When playing Fallout, completely maxed out on Ultra, I saw 50 FPS to 60 FPS while outside. And when I was inside of structures and buildings, it was typically sticking at 60 frames per second um, consistently without dropping frames. The next game I tested was Grand Theft Auto V. On its standard setup, it wanted to run on a very high and slash high setup, a little bit of both. When it was on its recommended settings, it ran at 60 frames per second. Then I decided to max everything out for Grand Theft Auto by pushing it to the limits, which completely maxed out. It could still play the game, and it ran it at a pretty consistent 30 frames per second. Next was Star Wars Battlefront, which I played at Ultra, and it held 60 frames per second constantly without dropping a single frame as I played. And finally, I decided to take a look at Dirt Rally as it's a fast paced racing game. On Ultra, it averaged 87 frames per second, which is pretty impressive for a game running at such high speeds. As for day to day use with the Alienware 18, there were a few pros and cons I also thought I should mention. So the first thing I thought I should say is, we went over its dimensions and we went over its size. It's a fairly heavy and fairly large laptop. Now there are pros to cons to both of those things. One, if you are carrying it around day-to-day -day use, it is rather large. Fitting this into most tote bags or a backpack might be slightly difficult. Its dimensions are rather large and it is a little heavy. It also has a little bit of a problem with battery life if you are untethered. So battery life, I saw maximum normal use a little over two hours. One positive though when it comes with a laptop, with that much power and this much space is we get those dual GPUs. You're just allowed to basically play any game on it and you'll be able to do that for a while. And for me, that was amazing to be able to play games on this that honestly, my desktop 
tower at home struggles with a little bit. With even somewhat newer technology, this kind of blows that out of the water. The one other thing I wish there was an option for was if you had an option for a 4K display. It has more than enough power to do a 4K display or pump out 4K through its ports on the side. Um, it would be nice to see that option in the future. The uh, 1080p display, it, it is a very good looking display, especially at 18.4 inches, and you can easily game on it because you feel like you have enough screen space for gaming. You don't feel crunched down. That is really, really nice. That was our look at the Alienware 18. If you have any questions for us, make sure you leave us a comment down below. I've been Andrew from Curse, and always remember to enjoy the game.